Hello, this is Lover of Ladies 69 and welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be playing Heavy Rain, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You know, golfing is pretty nice to play, but it's boring as hell when you're doing it by yourself. Okay, so I'm coming through, and I guess I'm talking to the old guy, I'm assuming? Probably. You know, I just hate the camera angles and how it splits up the screen. Like, that's very awkward to look at, to be honest, but whatever. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. Really? I'm playing golf? Oh my god. Whatever, I guess. Yo, this guy is checking me out, bro. Okay. He's sizing me up, I guess. Alright, let's see what I have to do. The balls are in that basket. Bet. Say no more. Alright. It's been years since I played golf, to be honest. So I'm gonna be really rusty at this. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. Giggity. When you feel ready, you swing. All right. And these stupid combinations, as always. Whatever. Go. Oh shit! I hate these combinations. It's so awkward to do. All right, second time's the charm, I guess. Uh-huh, and there you go. Well, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. Giggity. All right, let's see how you do, big boy. I'm assuming huh? you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. Ah, that's who I'm talking to. Okay. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. This is so much multitasking. My brain hurts already. There you go. Is that good? My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. So why did you bring well, me he here then? To fear from my investigation. Yeah, dead ass. Like, why are you so afraid then? You have no business investigating my son. I told you he had nothing to do with it. Why are you so butthurt about it, though? With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. Yeah, basically. Because at the end of the day, I'm just doing my fucking job. So, stop telling me what to do. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby. And I pay very well for loyalty. Okay. Sad threat? Or a bribe? Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? Priceless. That's what. I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Oh, really? Gives me more reasons to Have go nice near day, your son. Bye, fam. Shit. Look at him mad now. Ha! <laughs> Look at him mad, and now he's gonna flake the ball. Or not, whatever. Either way, he feels some type of way, and that shit is funny as hell to me. A 
hey, yo, this place stay having rain. Like... Alright, so what am I doing? Another failed mission. I feel so bad. It's like, I'm trying really hard to do these tasks, and yet, I keep failing them each time. Like, I have a good feeling if I failed this one, he ain't gonna find his son for shit at this point, so... Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat up stuff. I have to shake the controller. Hey, yo, I hate doing this. Okay. Oh, okay. So, what you found? Nothing? I did that shit for nothing? I hate this game, bro. Alright. Wait. What is this? Another one? Alright, let's shake it. Ooh, there's something in here. Break it! Break it! Ooh, a key. Okay, bet. So I assume this goes to this room that has the lizard. Yo, this place is so scary. Like, do I really want to go in? Because I feel like this is some saw shit. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Hello? Hey, yo. It's just a broken TV. An abandoned apartment with just a table, some chairs, like... I'm almost expecting to hear, oh, Let's play a game. Or, Do you want to play a game? Hey, yo. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Ah, oh, man. Let's see what I'm about to watch. I hope it's porn. To suffer to save your son? Oh, Lord. You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. What? It is some saw shit. Hey, yo. I have to cut off one of my fingers. Hey, yo, what the hell? Okay, alright, alright, alright. Let me see. Nothing. Hey, yo. Like, do I really want to cut? Off one of my fingers, bro? Oh my god. Do I really have to? Oh my goodness. Oh, Lord. All right. I guess I have to. This is some crazy shit, bro. Scissors. <coughs> Come on. You have four minutes and thirty seconds left. Oh, Lord. All right. Let's cut off your pinky, bro. Do anything for your son at this point. It's only one less finger to worry about, bro. Like... Oh, lord, he's gonna do it. Is he gonna do it? Nah, he can't do it. You know what? I need some excitement in this video, so... Call off your finger. Hurry up. Oh my god, the fact that he has to do this, though, like, dead ass, really? Alright, I guess. No, he ain't gonna do it. Alright, okay, how about this? I did notice that there was an axe over here. So, pick up the axe. This should help. Oh, Lord. Oh, okay, so... Are you ready? 
Oh my goodness, this is some messed up shit, bro. Listen, it's just a pinky. You're still able to use your hands for future activities, but just a quick chop, bro. Just a quick chop. No. Okay. Oh my god, he's doing it! He's doing it! Let's go! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god, bro! Okay, take deep breaths! Slow deep breaths. You got this. You got this. Oh shit, bro. He did it. He actually did it. Holy shit. Yo, this is getting more messed up as it goes by. Like. Okay. It, under the desk? Okay. What am I looking at? The hell is this? I got a clue finally. All right, let's see what what am I looking at here? That's his son, and he's still trapped underneath that cage. Okay, so at least I successfully did one of these trials at the cost of his finger. Alright fam, let's go. Damn. I swear, wh whoever this person is, we're gonna jump his ass. Again, I hate the way they do the camera angles, like, bro. Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give the signal. Is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Oh, right no. Are you serious? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What the fuck is that girl doing there? If Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. Actually, it's a good thing that they're not approaching her because at this point. She could possibly help with saving Ethan's life. Cause, look at her. She knows something's up. Okay, so I can't even go here. They're just watching her, bro. She's going inside. Just as well, we don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. She knows. She ain't stupid. You gotta find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word. She's looking. She's like, yeah, they're too. There's Just mad time. cops! Alright, so I'm gonna help you out, Bay, okay? Because at this point, it's getting dumb crazy. And you just injured yourself, like. Let me see. Is this a good way to get out? There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go. 
Cause this music is not helping at all. Come on! Alright, let's go, come on! Yay, we got this! See? Not bad, right? All right, let me just take a look here. Shit. It's too high. So we did all that shit for nothing. I hate this music, bro. Like, I get it. You want to try and make me so anxious, but it ain't working, okay? Let's push this against the door so they won't come out. Ready on my go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. There you go. Two men at the door, hold your positions. It's a go. All right, honey. This we should be able to just leave at this point. No. Come on. Come on. There you go. Now oh, we can go. go Ethan, get your ass up here. Hurry up. I have no time for this bullshit. Literally and figuratively. Let's go. Upsy daisy. Good. Alright, we're leaving. Try and catch us now, bitch. Alright, let's go. Oh shit. They heard us. Okay, so shoot! Like, you think I'm scared? And wave them around like you just don't care. Lieutenant, there's a man and a woman exiting the alley. Woman? Shit! It's that girl who went in! Everybody downstairs! They're in the alley! Follow them! Uh, let's go through traffic, so... Say no more, fam. Let's go. Alright, don't move. Like, please don't move. Like, shut up. Are you serious? Don't move. Oh, hell no, bro. Great, I'm sorry, bro. I dipped. I ain't trying to get arrested. Damn. I am so sorry, Han. It's not your fault, don't blame yourself. You, you did as much as you can at this point, bro. Just stay low. Look at her crying for her bae. <gasps> no! I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. Okay, whatever. I'm trying to save the life of your son. Stop lying. You still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. All right, so I guess I play as a detective, so. I'm sure you had your reasons for doing what you did. You didn't think you were doing any harm. You just wanted the pain to go away. I'll help explain all that to the judge. Don't let Sean die. Tell us what you know, and we can still save him. Honestly. Look at these, Ethan. Look at these. Okay. Eight photographs. Eight lives taken. Drowned in the goddamn rain. Recognize this one, huh? That's your son, Ethan. That's Sean. He is still alive. Talk to me, Ethan. Say something. Are you gonna actually say something, Ethan? He's being really silent about this. Last, Ethan. What will you gain with one more victim? Huh? The thing is, he's not the one, bro. I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. But the only way to find him to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him.
You say you can save him, but you don't know where he is. It doesn't make sense, Ethan. Ethan, tell them everything, bro. I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. Tell them the whole details, bro. They're still not going to understand what you're talking about. Come on, Ethan. Oh, great. Time's running out, Ethan. And frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. Bro. Okay. Tell him the, the whole this detail, the chance, Ethan. Ethan. Yo, he's going to really time, crack your face, bro. you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean. I told you I don't know. Ah! Wrong answer. I asked you a question, and now you're gonna answer me, even if it takes all night. Where is the kid? Yo, he's really beating his ass. What's the matter, huh? Nothing to say, huh? Can't fucking remember, huh? Beat him, his confession's worthless. Now throw the case out. You fuck! Are you gonna tell me what I wanna know or I'm gonna fucking cripple you? Yo! Oh. Yo! What the hell, bro? What's wrong with you? On, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Come Are on, you serious? On, Let's see what you got. <sighs> Doma. You really gonna pull a gun on me, bro? Asshole. Come on, let's play a little game. You're out of your mind, Blake. Go ahead, fucking shoot. This is gonna cost you your badge. Exactly, stupid you ass. Get the hell out of here, Norman. Before I give in to the temptation of painting the walls with your fucking brains. So you can lose your job, right? And you won't be able to do the case. Are you serious, bro? Blake is trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Mars. You've got to do something! Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that lowlife a few bruises? Wow, you, you ain't shit either. Breaking a few eggs. God damn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! This case has worn you out, Norman. You need some time off to think it through. Really? Bro, don't even... Don't take that drug, bro. Come on. You're better than that. Come on. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. You're fine. Listen. These guys don't know what they're doing. So, you know what's going on. Figure out yourself, bro. I didn't know you play piano. Okay. Play me a song. Shit, I'm not good at this. Oh shit, I hate this. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm in The Shining. Your with, vodka, sir. With the scenery and a butler. Thanks. You look preoccupied. No shit. Sure. Don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. 
But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Because he's not the one, bro. Mars You're is right. not the origami killer. Exactly. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Hmm. Oh, one last thing, sir. Yeah. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Yeah, stop taking that little Smith Sniff drug. It. That's difficult. Mm. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. Yeah, bro, and then what's the point? That would be most unfortunate, sir. Mars, by myself, feeling alone as always. It's a good setting, honestly. All right, let's see what clues I have here. Well, well, looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon showing Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. So then just play it, bro. It doesn't matter. What are we looking at here? A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. Could it be the killer's car? It could be. It very well could be. No, nothing. Okay, whatever. So in that case, what is the next clue? Okay, so yeah, it's matching track to that car. All right, let's look at the next clue at this point. The origami figure. Yeah, let's go on to the next clue. Honestly, with the clues I have here, it's not gonna get me anywhere at this point. Ah, pity we can't see the driver's face. But what can we analyze from there? The car was stolen. Let's see, a certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. You serious? There's always not enough evidence. That's bullshit. What's this one? So at that Jackson point, Neville, A.K.A. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles, considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Okay, I'm going to end the video right here. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you on the next episode.